Hi friends, today we are going to talk about business transaction event. Business transaction event is mostly used on the FI front and it's also used on the SD front, but mostly on the FI front. Okay, there you have some pockets or function modules that sample function modules that you have that SAP has provided that you can copy and put your enhancements. This is very important where you want to suppose put some duplicate checks like or you want to make sure that the, uh, you have special logic for duplicate posting of invoices or you want to add new fields in FBL1 and FBL5N and all those things you can do through business transaction even. Like everything, what is the transaction code of that? Is it FIBF? Okay. And here I will just show you what are the different spaces you can do. So here you go to environment, info system, and here you would just select display short text only and here if you want you can select based on the select attributes you can select what which ones you want because here it will so show everything suppose you want something related with only if i you can find those things here but what i'll do is i'll just execute and here you can get all the information related with this so this is very important and you can see it's related with these are related with FI. You can see there are stuffs like 1030. That's a FI stuff. There are stuffs where there would be customer line items and all those things. So these are very important. So if you, if I just suppose for this 1030, if I click and I click on pattern function model, this is a standard function model, and you just need to copy and copy it into a new function model. So again, this is a job for the evapers. A function should not be getting involved okay so here you can see all these fields and these are the changing tables so you can change all these values so this is very very important for in fi okay especially i have used mostly in fi and sd but this is very important okay and then you can go to in info system also okay and here you can just execute and there you can get all the all the stuffs related with other stuff stunning and all those things so this is very very uh, useful again the same thing if you want to see the interface you can click on it and you can see okay what are the changes that i can do here whether it will help me or not okay because once you create these and then you uh, then you put a breakpoint and all those things you can build your logic okay so this is very important and everyone every fi consultant should be knowing this okay the transaction code is FIBF. Okay, this is taking some time. Let me go into another transaction. And what I'll do is I'll go to FIBF and I'll display this info process and I'll just do execute here. Okay. And suppose I click on this and I click on partner, and here you can see the interface. Okay, so this is the import function, and here you can see these are the parameters you have. Okay, I think this is still running. Okay, so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning, and have a great day.